When we are working with decimal, fraction, and percent, it is very useful if we can convert any of these into either of the others. I'm going to illustrate that here. First, let's convert 0 0.385 into a fraction. We count how many numbers we have after the decimal point, and we have three. So what we do is we make a big fraction line, we put a thousand on the bottom, a one with three zeros, one for each of these numbers. And then we put the number 385 on the top with no decimal. We have now converted 0 0.385 into a fraction, but this fraction can be reduced, so we will do that. Both the top and the bottom have a common factor of 5, so I will divide both the top and bottom by 5. I get 77 over 200, which cannot be reduced anymore, so I have converted my decimal into a fraction reduced to lowest terms. Now I'm going to convert the decimal 0 0.385 into a percentage. The trick to do that is you find your decimal place and you move it two spaces to the right. There's one, two spaces to the right. And I can write this number as 38.5. 38.5% is the percent version of the decimal 0 0.385. Don't forget to write your percentage sign. Now let's work with 7 over 8. 